Hey everybody, the Bond is back. Welcome to part four. Let's play Lunar Silver Star Story Complete. All right, we finally made it to Moribia, so let's do some looking around. By breaking into people's houses. Moribia attracts traders from around the world. They flock here to buy and sell their wares, ranging from common to extremely rare. Is that right? I wonder if we can find a nice present for your parents, Alex. Yeah, that, that, that's why we came here. Just to do some shopping for the fam jam. And not, you know, try to get ourselves rich. What's up with you? Coming through, old man. Lovely scent, by the way. Is that eau de cheap whiskey? Sir, you'll catch a cold if you sleep out here. Shut up. This is a city of freedom. I can do what I want. Stalk pretty girls, drink till I can't see straight, you name it. I love this place. Alright, bye. Catch hypothermia, I don't care. I wonder where their shop is, anyway. It looks like there's a lot of houses. Ah, oh, here's one. If you're going on adventure, you're gonna need solid armor, of course. Well, it's better than the soft armor. Ooh, look what we got here. Iron armor. I will equip that. An iron shield. Inventory full! Oh yeah, look at all this crap I got now. I think I could probably give some of that to a null. I'll give you the soap. And I think I'll give you one of the herbs. What about you, Luna? Oh, you don't have anything to give. Treating the rest of us like pack mules. It's usually the blue haired women that make you do that video games. I'll get the iron shield. And an iron helmet. Ooh, and get you a headband. And that's all we can get you. Oh, we can get rid of the scarf. Yay, we got ourselves an extra... 10 gold, or 10 silver. Orange chinchilla fur. Hope it was sustainably uh, produced. What we got over here? What is this? I heard a lot of bad things about this place, but I decided to come check it out for myself. And you know, the owner does seem a little shady, but maybe I'm just being paranoid. Welcome to my store! Whether you're looking for glass beads or stunning diamonds, you'll find them here. <laughs> Hello there, young man. Are you shopping for a present for a lady friend? Of course you are. A handsome lad like you must have plenty of ladies. So tell me what kind of a budget you're on, and I'll tell you why you need to increase it. We didn't come here to shop! We came here to sell you our dragon diamond. Luna, you look pale again. Are you sure you feel okay? I'm fine, no. Just nervous about how much we'll get for the diamond, that's all. Hey, Alex. I'm talking to this guy about buying the diamond. He's trying to lowball us on the price, but don't worry. If I can negotiate with Clark, I can negotiate with anybody. Why don't you go visit Master Mel while I close the deal? And don't forget about Nash on Black Rose Street. First day on the job, you're really overwhelmed? Okay, well, I guess we don't do business then. Yeah, this is a rather large place. Wait, this must be the weapon shop. What do you have? 
Oh, we got a fire cane. I guess that's for Nash. So we don't need any new weapons. We have all we need. I just want to double check the uh, armor shop. Is that really all they had? Okay, I just want to make sure, like, we got to see everything. And I'm pretty sure we saw everything on the weapon shop. There's about three things. Why is this place so low? There's an item shop there. Alright, what do you got? Healing Knight. Cleansing waters for paralysis. Dragonfly wing to escape dungeons. We already got Luna holding one of those. Here, you take a cleansing water. And I'll have you take a dragonfly wing. Maybe another healing knot. Hmm, this has a different roof. Master Mel used to wield a huge axe with only one hand. It was very impressive to say the least. They say he was absolutely fearless on the field of battle. Well, I wonder where he is now. I guess we can take a look up here. This grand structure is the residence of Master Mel. He deserves only the finest. Mel has an open door policy, so the citizens of Moribia may come and go as they please. Why don't you come inside and take a look? I guarantee you'll be impressed. I wonder if Mel is inside. What, there was another place we could look. Was it called Black Rose Street? The mountain road to Nanza has been closed indefinitely due to the danger posed by roving bandits. Rivets are not allowed to travel the road until further notice, especially foolish young daughters. Signed Governor Mel to Alkirk. Rowing bandits, Alex! Sounds kind of dangerous. Dangerous enough to have two weapon shops. Why are there two shops? A broadsword? Yo, I should get that. The Battle Bow. Okay. We just had enough. So get rid of that. And that. Alright, so we made a little bit back. Hello. Excuse me, but where am I? I came here from land to see Hell Mel, and I'm lost. Beastmen are usually able to smell their own kind, but the scents in this place are overwhelming. Yeah, some guy was like really, really drunk. You're probably smelling from here. Is this where Black Rose is? I like to describe Black Rose Street as a compact version of Vayne's Magic Guild, without the elitist attitude. Not to mention the altitude, heh <laughs> Sorry I couldn't help myself. Good for you. Alright, what do you have? Ah, uh, Starlight? Starlight's a thousand? Dang. Can't buy it anywhere else outside of Vayne. That's why they jack up the prices. Ooh, they have their own equipment shops, too. Hmm. Do they have, like, the same stuff as the rest of the town? Looks like they do. Oh, this is stuff for magicians. Oh, but Luna can wear this. If I can only buy one thing, I guess I'll get the one that gives you 43 defense. There, you don't need the, uh, leather clothes.
All right, good enough. I'll have to wait till we get more money. Oh, it's Nash! And that's what happened. I still haven't determined if singing is the key. But I have a strong suspicion that it is. Nash, your friends have come. Alex, Luna, did you think to knock before entering? Somebody didn't get a tan. We seem to have guests, but I welcome those pursuing knowledge, as always. For you see, I am a student of knowledge, past, present, and future. I can foretell many things in the future. So, let's see your future. That's why you came to me today, isn't it? And if it is... We really didn't come to learn anything in particular. We were trying to find Nash. Oh, really? From what I glimpsed of your future child, you need my services quite desperately. So many of the questions you have about yourself are ones that I could answer. And you, Alex. You seek to become the greatest hero our world has ever known. But you are too humble to be a Dragon Master. You are unwilling to choose power and glory over friends and family. This will be your undoing. So what's my fortune, lady? Licking your paws and coughing up hairballs, cat. It is an insult to think that I would waste my energy looking into the future of a rodent. It's feline, not rodent. I'm not a cat! Alex, Luna, have you finished your tour of the city? <coughs> Having lived in the desolation of Calder Isle, you too must be completely overwhelmed. I'm sure you'll adjust in time. And if you don't, I'll be that much more amused. Nash, what were you asking the fortune teller about? Hoping she might know a spell to cure bad hair days? You rude little rodent! In fact, I asked her. Well, it's none of your business anyway, is it? Ooh, I know what it is. You asked her to see if there's a woman in your future. <laughs> Nash wants a girlfriend. <laughs> Good luck, tiger. I'm sorry, but Royce and I have several topics to discuss, and none of them are meant to be heard by anyone other than ourselves. Surely there's something else you could do in the meantime? Why don't you go visit Master Mel? I'm sure it'll keep you entertained for hours. And it'd be rather prudent for a potential Dragon Master to say hello to him. Welcome, children. I am Royce. Is there a loved one you seek? A business matter for which you need advice? A question about an affair of the heart? Whatever your problem, I have the solution. Alex, I don't know why, but I feel weird. And nervous. Yeah, let's go. I guess all that's really left to do is go, uh, pay a visit to Master Mel. You need a form for the guild. You mean the magic guild? Yes. Talk to the head priest at the shrine. Uh, which one is that? The one for she who made our world. Althena? You mean Althena Shrine? Hmm. Why does the leader of Althena Shrine have forms of the Magic Guild? Hmm. Good question. Maybe we'll find the answer soon. I like how you just you're technically still in town, but they have to like reset the music. I guess we should save before we go in. Okay, we're making some good progress at least. That's loops again! Welcome to the entrance hall of Master Mel's mansion. Mel is the grand ruler of Moribia. Feel free to explore the mansion, and don't be shy if you see Mel. He loves to talk. This is the mansion of Master Mel. Mel is friendly, but don't be rude. 
He finds rudeness intolerable. Good. He has standards. This is Mel's conference room. The master's door is open to all. Go on inside. Hello, are you Mel? I'm Meldial Kirk, governor of Meribia. Since you're new here, I'll warn ya. If you dare to make any sort of trouble in my town, I'll pop your tiny little heads off your twiggy little necks and mount them on me trophy wall. I said you were nice. <laughs> I like jokes where you threaten to kill us. Ah! You scared the heck out of me, old man. I thought my heart was gonna pop. Whoa, ha, ha, ha. Don't be scared. I'm just fooling with ya. Now then, what brings you to see me? Alex is gonna become the next Dragon Master, Master Mel. So I came here to pay his respects to one of the four heroes. I see. We have a future Dragon Master in our midst. Ho, ho, ho. That's rich. I like a lad with ambition. There aren't enough of you around anymore. So, Alex... Let's find out how serious you are. What? Alex, you're gonna get smushed like a grape. Then we'll have some wine. <laughs> Thanks, Noll. If you see a weakness in my defense, take advantage of it. Don't go easy on me, lad. Because I won't go easy on you, bahaha. <laughs> oh, we suddenly have a boss battle now. One on one boss battle, by the way. I better buff. Ow. Good thing I did buy some new armor and weapons. Almost 20 damage per hit, too. Okay, I'm gonna have to take the herb. That heals a little over two hits worth. I think I got a nut. The only way this can go wrong is if I get hit with a critical. Man, I should have had more healing items on me. Twenty-three! Oh, I got him! Alex's party of himself. Hey, got a level up out of that. Yeah, I think herbs are definitely not as good anymore. Not bad, Alex. Not bad at all. That's the best fight I've had in ages. You might be the next Dragon Master after all. Of course he is! Alex met Quark the White Dragon and passed the first trial! Really? I'm even more impressed with you than I was before, lad. I'll hail the next Dragon Master! Ho ho ho! Man, you're really gassing me up. You know, lad, I've got a daughter not much older than ya. Your daughter's name is Jessica, isn't it? Right. Girl's got a heart of gold and a soul to match. So, you're saying she's adopted? Hmm, what's that? Nothing. Nothing at all. She's at Althena's shrine, learning to be a priestess. And she'll be a great one. You should meet her sometime. I think she'd like you as much as I do. But you're gonna have to grow up before I let you marry her, lad. <laughs> I don't know, Alex. I think she'd be just as scary as her father. If you're gonna be a Dragon Master, lad, 
you have to meet all the dragons. I don't know much about where to find them, but my good friend Galleon would. He lives in Vane. Hey, can I go up here? You may pass, but please be quiet. Both Mel's and Jessica's bedrooms are located upstairs. Did you hear that, Null? Hear what? You gotta speak up, Luna! I don't know how Alex puts up with you. Well, isn't this cute? A boy and his monster. Not a monster, but I can fight like one. Uh, is there anything here that's of value? Well, other than comfy beds? The only way we'll get through this door is with a battering ram or a credit card. It's a credit card. Oh, Victor Island, you. This door is locked tighter than a tenement building in South Central. South Central what? What does this have to do with the game's universe? I can see why some people find some uh, working designs translations. A little bit of nonsense at times. Are you the new recruits? Why haven't you put on your armor yet? Move it, move it, move it! Can I aim that baritone somewhere else? We're not soldiers! Oops, sorry about that, kids. This is Master Mel's indoor gym. Members of the Moravian Army come here to learn the art of hand-to-hand -hand combat. And new recruits come here to discover just how much they have to learn. Okay. And we can't go there. Oh, that's the sewers! Sewers now hold hazards of their own! Well, have you tried pl flushing harder? That might fix the problem. Okay, we'll have to go the other way. The way we came. Maybe we got that diamond sold. We'll have to find out how much we earned. This is a rather large mansion. It's got a little bit of everything. It's even got towels. Towels, I tell ya. Here you go. Thought you could use some. Here you go. Let's see how well they did. You don't understand! This is a dragon diamond freshly minted from Quark's mighty keister! He doesn't give these away to just anyone you know. How am I supposed to know if this is a genuine dragon diamond? We've had a devil of a time of dragon zirconium lately. Seems like we got a fool in here every day, now claiming to have a genuine dragon diamond. But, I will admit this is the most beautiful gemstone I've ever seen. Listen, I'm not denying that this is a wonderful diamond, though it has an unusual smell. But how can you expect me to believe that it's a dragon diamond, lad? Unless the dragon himself is willing to come here and back up your story, I can't pay what you're asking for. Please don't get upset. I know we can still do business. Hey Alex, did you meet with Master Mel? I'm still negotiating with this guy to buy the diamond, but... I'm gonna have to sell for a lot less than it's worth. I'm sorry. Like I've been telling you, young man, this is a wonderful stone. But the dragon diamond? Sorry, no. No one even knows where to find the dragons anymore. Much less how to get diamonds from them. Alright, alright. So how much will you give us for it? For a diamond of this caliber, I'll give you 20,000 silver for it. And that is my one and only offer. It's your decision too, Alex. What do we do? 20,000 silver? Of course we'll take it. <laughs> Excellent. I'll go into the bag and get your money. And over the diamond so I can put it into my safe. Wait here, please. No, 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 no. We have to do it equally. I 
didn't realize it took so long to count 20,000 silver, Alex. It was too heavy for him to carry it all out here at once. I think we got scammed. Alex! Something's wrong. Dross? Hello? Where are you? Alex, Ramus! Dross is gone! And so is the diamond! We've been head! Please don't hurt me! I just started working here! I don't know anything! I don't know anyone! Oh, why don't you go talk to Master Mel? Maybe he can help you! It was all my fault, Alex! I should have known Dross was a con from the start! I got cocky because I was able to catch Brett! I'm so sorry! Maybe we'll just go on the same way he came. I was going out Dross' store for weeks, coming up with the perfect plan to rob him blind. Then I stumbled upon this secret passage in the sewers. I decided today was the day to pull the job, so I hid here and waited. Then Dross runs past me, clutching the biggest diamond I've ever seen. I had a sewage worker or alibi ready, but he was so happy with his giant jewel that he didn't even notice me. This day had been so weird that I just had to tell someone about it. Alex, this guy's a thief! Should we tell someone about him? We don't have time now. The longer we stay here, the bigger Lee Dross gets with our diamond. True. But they said the sewers was also dangerous. Aha! Wait. A lot of citizens have reported strange noise coming from the sewers. So, Master Mel sent me down here to investigate. But, I'm afraid to go any deeper into the sewers alone. Whatever's down there might devour me! Okay, but now we can get across. Looks like a snake or a leech. Oh, it's a frog snake! Oh, I didn't even go back to recover my MP. Oops. That was silly of me. Oh wow, they take like two hits even when it's Alex. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, they can do poison damage. This would get a little rough. How much silver we'll get from them? Oh, Ramus leveled up! And gained nothing out of it. Not even any HP. Oh, damn. Oh, damn, it's even worse now. Okay, that was one hit. So we were just in the damage range. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna need new armor for Ramus. Holy crap. You see how much damage that was? Like, Alex took normal damage, and Ramus was like... 20 plus! Okay, Luna still gains stats. So Ramus must be at the highest amount of stats he can get. Okay, nothing over that way. All we can do is cross here. There's nothing else. So what was on the left side? Anything? Nothing. We might have to go back to the uh, statue to recover. 
Or at least try to get as much done as we can. Starlight! Okay, found a good item there. How do we get to that chest? That way. Oh wow, even 36 doesn't one-shot him. Yikes. Okay, Luna still takes a nice chunk of damage to them, even with new armor. Though she doesn't have all of it. Seems like a good spot to farm for money, at least. So we have that going for us. Another Starlight! It's like, Bunger, you're low on MP, why don't you just use the Starlight? Because Starlight's expensive! Might as well just drag this out as much as we can. Before we even need to leave. Is that only these enemies? There gotta be more different ones. You know, Alex is gonna need at least one more level to reliably hit 38 or more. This is gonna be a nightmare otherwise. 37 doesn't do it either! It has to be exactly 38! Dang! And we got the best sword he can have for now. How big is the sewer even? Oh, new enemy type. Keep us topped up. Okay, this heals friends, heals everybody. But it's actually cheaper to just use this three times than use the other spell once. At least with a party of three. Fatal Hopper! Who has fish with feet? Oh, 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 oh no. Oh no, that they have a they have a lot of movement range. They have a lot of movement range. doesn't one-shot him! Fucking 43! Oh, Ramus is dead. Well, I mean, it don't mean a thing. His level-ups are garbage. Oh, we're gonna have to need to gain a lot more levels to survive this place. they can go you only got 40 experience from them but at least it's 205 silver and even more silver excellent Look how many is around here. This is the stuff of terror. Alright, we're gonna have to like 
evacuate the sewers and come back. I think that's the only plan we have. This must be the only way into the sewer, I think. Yeah, let's just go to the statue, update our equipment for everybody, and then we should be ready for it. Alright, I have returned. I have gained slightly more levels. Wow, I thought I was going to dodge that fish. But somehow its hitbox was wider than I expected. So let's just get out of here. Because even at level 15, these enemies take a little too long to deal with. Best thing to do is just take your time. Like, let them just hop across the water and you're good to go. Because here's the thing. They just keep doing the same hops over and over. And because of that, you should be able to avoid them better. Also, we're gonna go over the equipment that I've updated since then. Because both Luna and Ramus have battle bows. I think that's gonna make things a little bit better since Alex is our main damage dealer. I have to look at the pads carefully so I know which ones are dead ends. Whoa, what the hell? That's a new enemy. Evil Wisp. Oh, no, 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 not, not that one, not that one. Just cannot get both. I think I'm just gonna have to find out how much HP this thing has. Definitely not 93. He's taking a big bite out of Alex. Okay, they don't seem to have that much, even though they are much larger. But they got well over 41 HP. So that's a little something we have to watch out for. Should open up new areas. We got an herb. Hey, we can get to this one too. Okay, that should uh, make things easier for us. Good thing we went this way. Okay, so don't go to the second or the fourth one. We already grabbed the chest that's on the last one. Is this what we gotta do? Yeah, it is. More treasure? What the hell? There's another new enemy! It looks like a beholder was an orb. Four evil wisps and ammonia. Oh, this could be sick. Chances are that's gonna wipe them all out, except the bottom one. Yeah! No! The ammonia can resist fire damage, it seems. And it attacks twice. Oh no, that's gonna be rough. Oh, but they can drop healing nuts. It's always good to have a nice surplus of those. Oh, even that was enough. Is there any other reason to come this way? Of course. 250 silver. That's usually a good enough reason. Oh yeah, I forgot to go over the equipment. This is pretty much what I got now. Like, as you can see, we gotta make sure that everybody's in tip-top shape. God knows what else is waiting for us in these sewers. Just 
Case in point. Oh my god, there's three of them! Okay, at least that bridge is cleared out now. So where to next? Well, that answered that question for me. Oh, there's more treasure here. Antidote? That must be Dross over there. Another chest here. Okay, I don't know what's gonna happen, but it might be a good idea to save. Hopefully we're at the right level for this job. If not, we can always come back later. You're trapped. There you are, thief! Give us back our diamond! Now! I don't know how you kids found me, but it doesn't matter. Because you won't be around long enough to find your way back out. Here, boy. That's it. Over here. Alex! What is it? Surprise, kids? I'm pretty amazed myself. I never knew my little pet would grow so quickly down here. Or that he'd come in so handy for getting rid of annoyances like you. Get pretty, Alex. This pen looks like he's hungry. So is my blade. Water Dragon! Oh, we're gonna need to buff. My Cascade Song. Start attacking. So Water Dragon, even though it can breathe fire, it just happens to be in the water. Fire Press. Oh my god, you see that damage! I see how this is gonna go, and I don't like it. I didn't think it was too bad much. Oh no, this is gonna get real brutal, isn't it? Do I have a healing nut? I do. I'm gonna have to use it. I mean, there'd be no possible way for me to do this otherwise. Luna can't heal enough. As long as I can keep it above 60, we're good. What is Tranquil Song? Will that heal up to 40? Better. Or we're screwed. Okay, it's exactly 43. Ow! It moved. Alright, I got a plan. We're gonna use a Cascade Song on Ramus. I think I have a Starlight. You should consider using it. Wait, I cannot use melee attacks here? It's just out of reach! gonna be a nightmare. That only did an extra 10 damage. Yeah. And Alex is dead! So how the hell were you supposed to win that way? 
Also, isn't there a quirk where if Alex levels up, the bosses get stronger too? Oh, shoot. This could be bad. This is bad. Like, there's no way we can win. Unless somehow Luna and Ramus do enough damage with the bow. It just kept spamming fire press, so it was nearly impossible for Alex to survive. So it's up to these two now. Good thing she's faster than the dragon. Oh, it can do poison. Ramus can handle the damage better. Better than Luna, at least. I don't know if this thing can be hit with a status ailment. But that'd be one less turn of healing. And we cannot afford to do that. Too bad she doesn't have a spell that can revive. Wait, we might have an item that revives, but isn't that on Alex? So it's useless now. Also, there's hardly any point to try this at a much higher level, even though the other characters will have more HP, but then the boss gets stronger. And not only that, Ramus does not gain any stats! See, he'll just be far behind. Compared to every other enemy. Get a crit, please, Ramus. I'm counting on you. This is a battle of attrition. It really is. Come on, get back on your feet. Oh, nice of you to help out now. We could have used this much sooner. Okay, I think it's worth it to use Tranquil Song now. Yeah, sadly, when you're brought back up, the debuff's gone. I mean, the buff is gone. At least we're back in the game somewhat. We won! What a pain in the ass that was, and we leveled up from that. Oh, range went up. Uh... Uh... We could talk about this. Hey, the kids are getting dangerously close to invading my personal space. Okay, okay. This is all the money I have. Take it. It's yours. 500 silver? 500 silver? We agreed on a lot more than that, Dross. Hey, I have an idea. You own your shop, don't you? Of course I do. So what? Because now I own it, Dross. In exchange for the diamond. That's a fair deal, right? Uh, sure it is. So I guess I'll be leaving with the diamond now. <coughs> what do you mean? I sold the diamond to the shop. And since I own the shop, I own the diamond. If you don't agree with my logic, you can 
keep you down here until you realize how much sense it makes. Ramus, I know you've never heard these words before, so I'll be gentle. You are the man! You... You... Are... Because I think everyone deserves a second chance, Draws. I'll give you a job. But if I ever catch you trying to scam someone again... You are so fired! Thank you so much. I'm turning over a new leaf. Nothing but honest work for me from now on. I'll return to my... Your shop and start waxing the floors. I know I can't trust him. But he can't teach me all he knows about business. Then I'll fire him! <laughs> Ramus, you're totally ruthless. You're gonna be a great businessman. I'm proud of you, Ramus. Let's get out of here and take a look around your new store. Ramus? Don't tell me you're starting to like it down here. Alex, I... Uh... Forget it. You can keep half my half of the money, Alex. Having the shop is more than enough. Let's continue this conversation above ground. I need fresh air. And I need it now. Huh? Oh, yes. There's no doubt about it now, is there? She is the one. What's Royce up to? Oh, we gotta walk out! No, we're not. I think we have, uh, one of these? That's much better. Thank you again for showing mercy on me, Ramus. Oh, I almost forgot. There's someone here to see you. You're back. Excellent. Hey, Nash. I heard about your journey through the sewers to find the diamond. And how you killed dozens of monsters along the way. You may not have any magical abilities, Alex. But you're still very strong. Strong enough to come to Vane with me. I'll introduce you to Galleon and get you into some classes at the Magic Guild. Think about it, Alex. You can finally learn to use magic. Alex! This is an imposter! We all know the real Nash would never praise someone other than himself. Would you please let me finish, Cat? Thank you. As I was saying, Alex, despite your dubious choice in pets, I enjoy your company. And I can see the enormous potential within you. The Magic Guild is always looking for people like us. People who want to take their potential and turn it into skill. And, if you come to the guild, you'll meet Galleon and Lemia. Two of the four heroes, Alex! Two of the people who fought alongside Dragon Master Dine. They may even be able to tell you more about the dragons. What should we do, Alex? Go with Nash or go home? Don't look at me, Alex. This is your life and your choice. But I promise to follow you no matter where you go. Uh, let's check out the guild. Excellent! Alex, you will regret this decision. <coughs> we should depart for Vane immediately. Alex, I'm gonna stay here in Moribia. Magic is way beyond my grasp. And I've definitely had my fill of nearly getting killed by giant monsters. Besides, I'm a businessman now. I'll be too busy remodeling the store to go anywhere. Alex, promise me you'll keep having great adventures. Remus, you have to come with us. We'll miss you. I'm sorry, Nal, but I've already made up my mind. It's just not going to be the same without you to make fun of. Take care, Remus. Good luck. And hey... It's not like we'll never see each other again. 
I want you guys to stop by the store whenever you're in town. Thank you, Alex. Thank you for everything. Oh man, we're probably gonna miss out on his stuff. I don't think he held anything super rare. Because chances are we used it during the boss. Let's see what they got for wares. Is anything updated? Well, he's got some chicks, at least. Welcome to Ramus' store. Hey, why are you looking at me like that? Oh, right, my outfit. I came here from Saith because I got a job at the harbor. But the guy who hired me, well... He somehow forgot to mention that my job was to entertain sailors on shore leave. After I kicked my would-be employer in the, um, anchor, I realized that I have to find another job. But this is the only place that was hiring. Alex, are you flushing? How dare you be attracted to women. I can't believe it, Alex. I left Berg with nothing but the armor on my back and the snacks in my pack. And now I have my own store in the City of Freedom. But I'm still not satisfied, Alex. Not until you become the next Dragon Master. You're my best friend, Alex. If you ever need help, I'll be here for you. I think I'll call this store the Dragon Master's favorite. Pretty catchy, isn't it? Remus, you never met Dine. I'm not talking about Dine. I'm talking about Alex. You don't mind if I use you for endorsements, right, buddy? Oh, God, you're not selling anything. Maybe you are. Ooh, hello, you green-eyed little hunk. Buy something and I'll give you a discount just for being so cute. Uh, Alex? I think this woman really, really likes you. Do you like my costume, Green Eyes? The best part about it is how easily it comes off. Ah, somebody was, like, getting a little, uh, uppity writing the script. Oh, what am I doing? Chances are we have to go to this store for Nash's equipment. Oh yeah, I still gotta go back to that statue. He thinks I'll go do that soon enough. Oh, you already got this on. What about the staff? You have that too? Oh no, you don't! There you go, this will be better. A bromide? Hmm, what the hell is that? It looks like it's just a picture? Service. That's what that is. Man, there were people that worked on this game that were a little bit horny. <laughs> I'm sure there's more bromides like that in the world. We should go heal up. So how the hell do we get to Bane anyway? Can we do this from here? Well, that's Nanza, of course. Oh, we can leave. So where's Bane to? Alex, to reach the city of Bane, we have to use the spring of transmission. We just follow this path to the south until we reach it. What's with a big smile on your face, Nash? You'll understand soon enough, Cat. Just keep your eyes on the sky. Okay, can we go anywhere else? I guess not. Oh, this Behold, must be the... The magic city of Bane. Oh! It's a floating city.
Oh, RPGs and their floating cities. The magic city of Vane encircles around the Goddess Tower in an endless protective orbit. It is said to shield the Goddess Althena from harm. Okay. Oh, we can actually go in here, too. This is the great shine shrine to the goddess of beauty and love. What is your business here? Uh, we'd like to rest. Ah, I feel much better. Thanks, lady. Okay, so there's a shrine of Althena, it looks like. What else is over here? Uh, I might want to say before I approach this. I wonder if that's the mountain road where bandits are. I think we were told about that. Yeah, Nanza Pass. Will we even be allowed to go in there? Sometimes, like, the game keeps you from progressing. Well, let's see how tough these enemies are. Antorion! Well, good thing we have Nash, right? Check this out. Oh, they got a nice chunk of HP. Actually, their defense is the worst part. Okay, not a bad amount of experience for three enemies. But yeah, Thunderbomb seems to be the trick to deal with them. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much else. I don't see an easy way to get to those chests without too much combat. So I think we'll leave that alone for now. I suppose if I ever wanted to grind, I can always just head back there. Where else can we go? So I guess to reach the city, I think you have to stand on this? Who are you? Wait, you're Nash, the star pupil of Galleon. I knew I was becoming famous, but this is almost embarrassing. Almost. May I use the spring of transmission, sir? Of course, but that doesn't apply to these others. They're my friends, sir. I assure you they are most worthy of ascending to Vane. I'm sorry, Nash, but they're not. Rumors abound that the Magic Emperor himself roams the land. Thus, Limia Aosa has placed quite stringent rules into effect. The only people allowed to use the spring, other than citizens of Vane, are those who obtain an application for the Magic Guild from Facia. I didn't realize those rumors were being taken so seriously. I guess you aren't as famous as you thought, Nash. Steal your tongue, cat. Not even Galleon himself would defy the word of Lemia Aosa, huh? Facia lives in Althena's shrine, at the foot of the mountains to the west, a short walk away. Okay, you know where that is. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? I really want to know. That's not me, you idiot! It's a dumb owl that does that! Jeez! Oh, Victor. <laughs> Alright, we'll stop here, and then the next part we'll have to go to the shrine. See ya.